People living in housing bought flats will soon be allowed to keep cats, with a proposal by the government to lift a ban of more than 30 years on cat ownership in public flats in the works. Two cats will be allowed for each HDB flat and three cats for each private residence under a proposed framework on cat management announced by Senior Minister of State for National Development Tan Kiat Hao on December 2. Pet cats will also need to be microchip and licensed, among a slew of measures proposed to improve the management and welfare of pet and community cats. The proposed changes will be available for further input for two months before they are implemented in the later part of 2024. He said at the Pet Stay Out event held at Bishanong, Missouri Keo Park. A transition period of two years will be given to allow cat owners time to meet licensing conditions. During this period, cat owners can get their licenses for free. When the changes take effect, it will be illegal not to license pet cats, and owners will be subject to penalties similar to those under regulations for dog owners. Dog owners can be fined up to $5,000 for not complying with licensing conditions. The limit of two cats per household takes into consideration views of cat owners and non-cat owners, and aims to maintain a harmonious living environment for all, said Mr. Tan. HDB residents have not been permitted to own pet cats since 1989, and offenders may be fined up to $4.000 if found to have a pet cat in their flat under the Housing and Development Animals rules. But actions are typically taken against flat owners only if there are complaints of their cats causing a nuisance. The authorities recognize that some households may currently have more pet cats than the proposed limits, said Mr. Tan. As such, during the transition period, cat owners can apply to license and keep all of their existing cats. However, this will be subject to approval by the Animal and Veterinary Service AVS, a cluster of the National Parks Board, which may conduct checks, he added. Pet cats will need to be microchipped for a license. This will ensure they are traceable, and cat owners can be held to greater account if their cats are found to be abandoned, neglected or abused, said Mr. Tan. Cat owners will need to ensure that the animals are kept in a safe environment. Taking precautions such as installing window grills or mesh to prevent cats from roaming or falling from height. Mr. Tan said the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to animals receives at least five reports of cats falling from height every week. And most do not survive. Other licensing conditions include requiring cat owners to ensure the animals are kept under control in public, such as by using a harness, and requiring first-time cat owners to complete an online course on responsible pet ownership before they can be issued a license. As part of the proposed framework, Pet cats belonging to low-income households, such as those living in public rental housing, can also get free sterilization and microchipping from 2024. This follows a successful pilot pet cat sterilization day that AVS held in November, when more than 80 pet cats belonging to low-income households were sterilized and microchipped. Said Mr. Tan. The aim is to stem the unintended breeding of pet cats belonging to those unable to afford sterilization, said AVS. Sterilization also has health and behavioral benefits. As it reduces the risk of some cancers, and sterilized cats are less prone to roaming and caterwauling. Their urine also does not smell as pungent, said Cat Welfare Society President Tinuga Vijikuma. To encourage the sterilization of pet cats, licensed owners who have not sterilized their animals will be required to renew their license regularly and at a higher fee. Another proposed change is extending the Trap Neutery Home Slash Release Manage program for free roaming dogs to community cats. This will allow us to better manage our community cat population holistically and in a humane and science-based manner, 
as we have done for our free roaming dogs, said Mr. Tang. Ms. Tinuga welcomes the legalization of cat ownership and mandatory licensing. She said an important question is what conditions are needed for cat owners to get a license. The public should weigh in on these conditions, which should ensure cat owners are responsible, she said. Ms. Tinuga also advocated the mandatory sterilization of pet cats or significantly higher licensing fees for cat owners who do not sterilize their pets. The Cat Welfare Society sterilizes more than 4,000 cats for free every year. She noted that surveys done by the society showed that most cat owners have three or fewer cats, and so a cap of three cats in each flat might be more appropriate. Cat owner Nafisa Matt Aris, 42, said the move to have them microchipped and licensed can help to reunite cats with their owners if the animals go missing. The executive, who owns three cats, is ambivalent about the cap of two cats per flat. I would think that is very subjective, because it doesn't mean if you have two cats, you are a good pet owner, or that if you have six cats, you cannot manage. I really hope that in time to come, with more experience, this may be reviewed as well, she said.